Field of the fifth race, Champlain Grand Circuit Stakes, two-year-old Philly Trotters, and they're off. Whiteland Victory was on a break well before the starting gate got away. Now being sent to the top is Fun and Strokes. Gypsy Balance is on an extended break as the gate swings away. Yankee Genie down the center of the track. Family Trust will be away in third. Then weaving through, taking flight on the inside from fourth. Mrs. August is outside from fifth. The breaking Gypsy Balance, then Catch Me an Angel. And uh, the distance trailer was Whiteland Victory. Also off stride, leaving out of there and uh, taken out of harm's way was Black Denim Trousers out of control. Tension. John Campbell, fun and strokes, a big lead around the first turn off the quarter of 28 and four fifths. That's fun and strokes all alone up top as they move up to three eighths completion. Family Trust is closing the gap from second, taking flight, closing up in third. Landing in fourth position was Mrs. August on the way to the half. Gypsy Balance lands back down trotting and gained fifth. Catch Me an Angel is sixth in line. Then it's way, way back to Yankee Genie. Out of contention after early breaks in the backfield are Black Denim Trousers and Whiteland victory. That was the half. Fun and Strokes made it a minute and three fifths, 31 and four rating in the second quarter. Fun and Strokes Campbell taking her along just as much as he needs to into the final turn. The outside challenger now is Mrs. August into the final three eighths. Family Trust is content to be following in. Look at the huge recovery. Gypsy balance is made. She's right back into the race. She's fourth on the outside. And in the top five, turning for home has been taking flight. Catch Me an Angel is sixth. Out of contention. In the backfield, Yankee Genie, Black Denim Trousers, and Whiteland Victory Distance. They turn for home. Off three quarters, 130 and three. Down the stretch in the second division of the 2000 Champlain Stakes, two year old Philly Trot, and the leader since the outset, Fun and Strokes, Family Trust, Gypsy Balance, far out wide to taking flight, trying to go all the way. Fun and Strokes taking flight, one final push. Fun and Strokes goes wire to wire. Taking flight is up for second at the inside. Family trusts their gypsy balance. Made the big comeback for fourth and misses August 5th. Fun and Strokes, 159 and four. Return to Mohawk's winner's circle was number eight, Fun and Strokes. Donna Rail, two-year-old Bay Philly from Warwick, Kira. Owned by Arlene and Jules Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Trained by Jim Campbell and driven to victory by John Campbell. She's undefeated in two, and that was a life's mark, 159 and four. And the Champlain stakes for Fun and Strokes. Our special thanks for the winner's circle presentations to the Grand Circuit winners on this program. Hockey executive Mike Penny, player Kevin McClelland, and the chief, George Armstrong, former captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, former coach of the Memorial Cup champion, Toronto Marlies, and a hockey legend. Thanks again to all of you from the hockey world, including Mike Penny, Kevin McClelland, NHL referee Paul Dvorsky, and the chief, George Armstrong for making the winner's circle of presentations to the Grand Circuit Champlain Stakes champions at Mohawk. In the winner's circle now with winning driver John Campbell after the second Donna Rail Philly wins the second division of the Champlain tonight. John, fun and strokes was very good from the outset, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. She's fairly handy on her feet and she got her gate in good shape and uh, she's a little lazy in front. You got to keep her mind on her work and kind of pack away at her, but she does, does what she's supposed to. Two lifetime starts now. She's two for two with over $100,000 in her bank, and you've driven her through most of her starts. Is she maturing? Yeah, she's getting better all the time. She's certainly shown a lot of improvement since her baby races at the Meadowlands, and uh, she's the type of filly I believe will try at any size track and, and be quite handy, so I think she'll be a money earner if she stays healthy the rest of the year. Now, a lot of times when we speak to drivers and ask them what's next, they don't have too much of an insight into what's next, but the trainer, this one is your brother. If you talk to Jim at all, what's next for the filly? Not really. I would expect, uh, as long as she comes out of this this one good, she'll race here next week, but uh, as I said, I haven't checked with him, and uh, I really can't give you a whole lot of insight that you're looking for. Well, welcome home, and uh, thanks for being with us. And the next time you come, bring some warm weather. Okay, thanks a lot. John Campbell, the winning driver aboard Fun and Strokes in Division 2 of the Champlain tonight as Donna Rail Phillies sweep that rich stake event. Race number five, five, six. Race six is coming up next, John.